Hello everyone! Did you try to update your Shopify team to Shopify 2.0 but the product page does not have blocks like don't? Well, it is because we have to assign those dynamic blocks. In this tutorial, we're going to update the product page. But first, we have to head to our Shopify store. And in here, we're going to go click on Teams. And we're not going to edit the live team. Instead, we're going to edit the debut team right here. So click Actions and click Edit Code. Let's expand our workstation a little bit. So click this icon right here. And in here, we're going to find the Section folder. And we're going to look for Product Template right here. And in the Product Template, we are going to separate our sections. But in our debut team, what we're going to do is to find this items right here. The product title, uh, product price, product form, and product description, and also the product social. So to do that, we have to find this code right here, which says product dash single underscore title. So let's go to our product template right here, and we're going to find that product product single title and it's right here after the grid item we're gonna have the four block or the four statement and we're gonna have four blocks in section blocks and we're going to find where to place the end for. So click on the div right here. And it should highlight the closing div. So right here, we're going to do it before that um, closing div. So right here, we're going to have um, end for. And in our uh, for statement right here, we're going to also make use of the case statement. So. So here we're going to write a case statement. So we're going to say case. Then we're going to call the blocks type. And we're going to have the in case um, closing right here. Before the end force right here. And Case. and we'll go back to our code again so in here we're going to do the when statement when and i'm going to name this one a uh, product underscore title and then space right here and then what we're going to do we're going to copy this one actually we don't put it in the single meta we're going to put it in here with our product single title so put it there and also we need our price product price which is here so we'll put it when statement right here and we're gonna put price let's just put a space on them and um another one we're looking for is the form so the form right here um first we're what i'm gonna do is put the well when statement for the form so if you notice in the Dawn uh, product page, they have the, the button separated. Like you can have the button like go any places, right? So right here, he went to the bottom. Well, in, in debut team, you can't really do that because the button right here, it's somewhere here. So the button is right here so button product um right here so it's right here and you can't really separate it because it's enclosed in a form so we have end form right here and form right here and i did try to do it right here well it's doable but you can have the button you know anywhere but the problem is when you click the add cart you get this error um, the reason you're having that is because the JavaScript is not going with the form. So I really don't want to miss on those. 
So I tried to just do the form. And now we're going to go to our um, description. So if you go down right here, um, yeah, right here. So it's the description right here. And then Control V, and we'll change this one to a description. And we have our social buttons right here. So control V in here, and then we're going to name this one social. And after that, we're going to go to our schema. So after the settings bracket, the closing bracket, uh, let's find that. Okay, right here, we're going to add the blocks. So we're going to say here blocks. Open and close bracket. And then we have curly braces here too. And in here, we're going to name, we're going to put a name uh, product title. And we're going to also put a type. So on this one, we copy the type that we just we had been putting. So we do uh, product underscore title. What I'm talking about is this one right here. So we'll, the one that we put in our win statement. So right here, product underscore title. So we're gonna call that here in the schema. And also we're gonna have a limit because you don't want a lot of um, blocks containing product title, right? So um, limit it into one. And what we're gonna do here is just gonna copy this one, control C and put a comma Let's just move this one and put a comma after the bracket and then paste it here. So we need, um, we need how many? Five, right? So we need one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we'll, we need five. So we're going to copy this one, control C, control V here. That's three, uh, four, and five. So on the fifth one, don't put a comma on the end of the bracket. So in here, we're going to change the name to price right here. And also right here. And this one is the form. So form right here. And this one is a description. And also this one. And this one is the social. And that's it. Then click save. Now we're going to go to our template. So template folder right here. And we're going to find the product liquid right here and open that. And in our product liquid, we have several codes in here. What we're going to do is we're going to have a product that JSON. So we have to delete this product that liquid to do that. We don't want to delete the, the code right here. So we're going to copy this one after the, the sections right here. We're going we're gonna to copy this code. Control X to cut, and then we're gonna go to our product template. And before the schema, we're gonna paste that code right here. So we already have this one, the product um, dash template. What we're gonna add is just the product dash recommendation, which we're gonna add in our product that JSON. So this one is just a comment, which is not important. And now we're gonna delete this file. Delete the file and say, okay. And we have to save this one. And now we're gonna go to our template folder again and we're gonna create a new template. And this one, uh, we're gonna have a product template right here and make sure your type is JSON and create a template. So right here, I'm gonna try to explain what's happening. But right here, we're gonna have two sections. Remember, we're gonna have the product dash template and also the product dash recommendation section so right here recommendations 
I'm going to name this one uh, product underscore page. And we're going to name the other one um, product underscore recommendations. Okay. And now we're going to add this um, sections right here in the order and control C and then control V. Now we're going to separate our product page right here. So go down and we'll just bring this one down too. Okay. Now we're going to have a colon and then um, brackets. And this one, we're going to have the type. In the type, we have to call the product dash template, which is our section. So we're going to do um, product dash template and then close it and in our type we're going to also have blocks so we're going to have blocks and instead of bracket which we usually do in schema we're going to have um, curly braces right here and in our blocks we will call our type right here we're going to call our types and why are we doing it here? Because we want to have a preset. So whenever we go to our team editor, we're going to see these items right here. So we're going to have um, name. I'm going to name this one title. But you can name it whatever you want. And I'm going to put it right here. And also we're going to include the type. And in this type, we're going to call the product underscore title so we're gonna have product underscore title and what we're gonna do is just gonna copy this one um the title control c and then we're gonna paste it put a comma right there paste it uh five times comma four and five so the last one don't put a comma so in here we're gonna change the name right here this one is the price so price and then this one is the price as well and next one is the form and form right here and also this one is a description and description right here and this one is the social and social right here as well. So in the blocks, there's also black order at the end bracket or the closing bracket of our blocks. We're gonna add the black order. So black underscore order. We're gonna have the braces right here. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna name our names right here. So this one, the price, the form, the description, and the social. So we're going to go right here. We're going to name this one title. And this is just the order of blocks you want in our um, team editor. So right here, we're going to have price and form and description. And this one is social. We're going to do the product sections as well. So let's just put it up a little bit and we're going to bring this one to the side. So as what we did in a product page, we're going to do that in our product recommendations as well. So we're going to have a colon right here and then um, brackets, curly brackets, and then we're going to have the type so we can call the section. So the name of our section was um, product dash recommendations. And uh, you don't have to include the liquid. So right here, product dash recommendations. Make sure you have the S and that's it. And click save. Make sure you click save on the product um, template also. Now we're gonna go to our custom um, team. So click on this one. 
and we're going to go to our product page. So we're going to go here, our products and default product. So we see it here. We have five blocks. Um, you can reposition this one. Everything in here you can be can be repositioned and you can also hide it if you want. And then you also have a product recommendations right here in which you can place um, up and down. And that's it. That's how you um, update your product template or a product page into Shopify 2.0. And if you have any question, let me know. Thank you so much for watching.